Hey guys, so today's video I'm going to be just talking through some things. I'm a cheapskate so I always look for the best deals on anything and in this video I'm going to share with you some of the things I do to never buy full price. I've got a list on my phone so we're going to start with some, one of the obvious things is sales. It's Black Friday in like two days so this is like the perfect time of year to go sale shopping most things especially in clothes shops and things like that will always well not always i'm not going to say always but a lot of the time things will go on sale like for example top man sale all like at points in the year i wanted this shirt it was 30 pounds it went down to nine if you just wait a little bit it will go in the sale i don't assure you but if you think you like something, maybe just wait to the sale. If it's not in the sale, you could still buy it, but then it's in the sale, that is good. Next thing is something that I think people might overlook, and it's signing up to email newsletters. Now, when you go onto a website, most of them, like, depending on what shop it is, but, like, all lots of clothes shops, like Top Man, Burton, River Island, New Look, Jack Wills, anything like that, they will have a newsletter. And if you sign up one, First off, you're likely to get a discount there and then. I signed up to New Look the other day and I got 30% off my first full price purchase. So that is one really good way and that was not the first time I signed up. If you use a different email account, you'll get that same discount. You see where I'm going? It will take you like five minutes to set up an email account, but you could potentially save 30% off your thing. And if you're buying a lot, then that's really good and especially this time of year got Christmas presents to buy and stuff then that discount will add up so for example I brought a coat which was originally £59 I got it for £41 that's quite a significant saving so with those newsletters you will get discounts sent through to you throughout the year a very good one and if you love a fragrance is the fragrance shop they will send you like literally every week there'll be either a 15 or 20% off discount exclusive for their newsletter people so that is a really good way and also like Jack Wills you'll get a preview of the discounts that they put in store so it's I think a really good way and also places like Dorothy Perkins and Burton's always seem to have this discount code like come up every week so that is like one of my top tips sign up to newsletters yes you'll get the emails like every day but for the set potential savings that you're going to make I think it's worth it. Next thing is to I always whenever I'm buying anything like or an electrical like a camera or curry from like Curry's or John Lewis always type into Google that store's name voucher codes because most of the well not most of the time but on the odd occasion you'll find that that um, website or shop will have a discount code so I would always recommend doing that. When eating out, I would always, if you know what restaurant you're going to, like Prezzo or Zizi or somewhere like that, a lot of those websites will do vouchers on their website that you can print off to use. So Prezzo, for example, always does like a two for one or some percentage off your total bill, excluding drinks. But it's a really good way just to check the website to see what promotion they've got going before you go out and have a meal because you could save potentially a lot of money. Loyalty cards, something that I think could be quite overlooked, like when I'm in some stores I'm like no I don't have a card, but if you do get one, you can get one discount like you would on a newsletter, but two get money off as well. For example Waitrose, they do 10% off on certain products for their Waitrose card holders. So you could potentially say, if you're doing a big food shop, you could potentially save a lot of money on those branded or non-branded items that are 10% off exclusive to Waitrose customers. ASOS. ASOS has started a brand, like a loyalty scheme called A-List. They, for, I think it's for every 10, for a certain amount of money you get 10 points and when you get when you spend £100, you get a £5 off voucher. And the, I will link the um, A-list below, uh, which will go in much more detail, but you can um, work up the A-list to, there's like three stages, and like you get 20% off when it's your birthday, just being signed up to the A-list. And it goes up, and you get like one day of 
completely free next day delivery on one of your purchases so that's really good. ASOS also have really good voucher codes and you'll always see them at the top of the screen like if you spend over £100 you'll get next day free delivery and stuff like that. Boohoo is also a good one for that as well, they have a strap line at the top. I'd also check that on most websites like New Look, Top Man, stuff like that. They'll have a strap line right at the top to give you, give you the best deal and you'll also get that in the email when you're on a newsletter. So you'll see it on the newsletter, it'll be the highlight and you'll think, oh yeah, I wanted something from such and such and that's a good way of saving money. Another loyalty program that I think is really good is Costa. Now, I can't remember the exact point system, but when you buy things in Costa, you get points, and you use those points like money. So, for example, they ha also have an app. I'll just show you quickly. I'll just show you the app. It looks like this. It You can also use this to buy stuff and use it like that. And it says your current balance is 415 which equates to £4.15 to spend in store. I also had an email the other day from Costa that said, randomly, because you spent over what you normally spend, you spent a little bit more, we're just going to give you 53 points there and then. So that's really nice of them. Also, Boots do a really good loyalty scheme as well. Their Advantage card, again, you can equate points up to use as money and we my mum's got like 33 pounds worth of points to use especially this time of year you could use it on some presents and they always do triple points and you get vouchers in the post to use in store another way i save money is to use outlet stores and like places like tk maxx because vista village is like my best friend like you'll go there and the d discounts won't be significant but for example like burberry you're looking at a burberry shirt which may not be on season but it's going to be significantly less than like for example £195 versus 50 so that's a really good saving and like the Burberry store in Vista Village always has like trench coats which are timeless classics from Burberry for like two to £400 for like just a classic normal trench coat which and their trench coats go for like a thousand plus in their normal stores so the style might be slightly different, like tweaked slightly, but there's not going to be a significant difference in what a trench coat looks like. So I'd always go to, if you have an outlet near you, try and find those. And there's plenty of like Burberry ones throughout the country. Ted Baker is also a really good one. I bought a black satchel, which is a signature satchel design, um, which goes for £109. It's in black, a very standard colour with silver hardware. I got it for 69 in the outlet. Another great place to find brands at cheaper prices is TK Maxx. Always love rum rummaging through TK Maxx because I'm such a bargain hunter. My store I know had, my local one anyway, had like things like Michael Kors, they had Jaeger, stuff like that, all for money off. So like I got a Michael Kors coat which would have originally gone for the 160 to 190 pound mark for 69 and they had a Jaeger coat in there which was originally 295 for 109 so you're getting really good prices like just if you search a little bit more you can find really good things a lot of banks and like building societies do lots of different offers i bank with lloyds they do this thing called everyday offers where they have a section on when you've logged on to your personal bank a section called everyday offers where you can pick from the offers of that month to get cash back now they have big brands like new look lakeland body shop joseph um, Oliver Bonus, The Train Line, Hilton Hotels, really diverse range of shops and services that you can just click on and when you use your bank or credit card, or debit card, that um, between the time frame, you will get cash back on those purchases. So the more, the bigger purchase you make, the more cash back you're going to get. So I've used that on like new look purchases where I might have only bought like £20 worth of, well, 20 to 30, 40 pound worth of stuff and you got like one pound 50 back, but it's still some money. Um, but they also do, Lloyd's specifically do this thing where they select randomly a thousand customers each month to pay something off for them. Now I've been lucky enough to get that where my credit card bill was paid for one month, which was like 56 pounds. And I think it's a value of up to, don't quote me, like two, 300, where um, they'll give you that money back. So I got £50 back, or was it 70 or something like that, back 
for like literally just being with Lloyds. There are specific cashback sites which I haven't personally dabbled in myself, I've always done it through Lloyds, to Lloyds Bank, not TSB, it's not that anymore. Um, so I'm not too sure on those but cashback is a really nice thing through your bank. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and these tips and tricks that I've learned are helpful to you that you might or may not have known about. I will try and link some different things down below like ASOS A-List and the Costa Club card and stuff like that below and a link to um, Lloyd's Everyday Office and you can see what that's all about in full. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, so thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, please also follow me on Instagram, that is linked below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.